Okay, Nifty Thrifty Girl, uh, showing a Vogue Stitch vintage Japanese made all steel machine. A very nice cosmetic condition. And the funny thing about that is that this machine was just returned by an eBay buyer that um, it had a little bit of paint off the hand wheel and he just swore it was the ugliest machine ever and warranted a complete restoration and, and I got a negative feedback out of the deal. But as you can see, the machine is um, pretty much flawless in cosmetics. There's hardly a nick or scratch on the painted surface what at all. Um, the hand wheel was replaced with a chrome one, so the paint issue is not there anymore. Um, it's a very, very nice machine. It's heavy, has adjustable needle position, and it has 30 built-in decorative stitches, and these 30 stitches can be done in each needle position, which means that basically there's, um, well, there's 30 total stitches. These red stitches can be done in the three different needle positions. So there's like 75 stitches plus an automatic button hauler. Um, All together the machine does 30 stitches on the dial. Um, bobbin winder here on the wheel and that was another thing he swore that the bobbin winder was broke and as you can see the bobbin winder is in perfect functional condition. Um, I don't have a manual for this machine. It's pretty easy to use. It does have three level feed dogs as well. Um, when you change your patterns, you must push this release lever over or your patterns will not change and you'll end up breaking this. So you need to make sure when you want to turn this knob here, you do push the release lever to the left. And it uses class 15 bobbins. It is a standard low shank machine. Um, it's tabletop ready or you can go into a Singer type cabinet or carrying case. It comes with some bobbins, a satin stitch foot, and a straight stitch foot. But as I said, any standard low shank foot attachment will fit. It's a nice working machine. Quiet. Switch it over to zigzag. Now, the decorative patterns are not adjustable in width. You have to have your width on zero to do any of the decorative patterns. So we put this back at zero, push the release lever, we'll just pick one, put the release lever back, and now we'll do a decorative pattern. Like a ball slash gallop. It's just a terrible, terrible machine, isn't it? That's what the guy swore, anyways. He's nice. Alright, let's put it back on straight stitch, which warrants pushing the release lever again. Do five la layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle, it will use up to an 18. It's just serviced again and ready to go, and he swore that it wasn't serviced. Um, all around bad transaction, period. But as you can see, the machine is is what it is. I, I provide clear pictures. Um, he said I misrepresented the machine. I don't know how I can misrepresent a machine when I take clear pictures and I shoot a video of the machine sewing. It's kind of just funny. A um, couple layers of leather. And it was just a horrible vintage machine and, and he just couldn't stand it. And argued with me for a week. So anyways, bygones be bygones. I It's back for me to offer it to you. So, very, very nice machine. And that is the Vogue Stitch with... 30 built-in stitch patterns, very nice cosmetics, nice, nice, pretty machine.